<laughs> I've got it. <laughs> Skyrim Together was the original mod which allowed you to play Skyrim with your friends. It was revolutionary for its time, and although it had a few little kinks which need to be worked out, it still worked pretty well, and most importantly, allowed you to play co-op with friends. Fast forward to the present day, and Skyrim Together Reborn is the latest and greatest version of this mod. It has been redesigned, and a lot of the original kinks have been worked out. It now allows you to have seamless multiplayer with multiple friends. You can have anywhere up to 24 players, however, they do suggest 2 to 8. The mod will be compatible with Skyrim SE 1.6 and above. It is not yet known which mods are compatible with Skyrim Together Reborn. However, if it's anything like the last version, anything which is graphical should be absolutely fine. But anything more complex, we'll probably need other players to have the same mod installed. There is an official Discord server for Skyrim Together Reborn, which I'll leave in the description below. But if you want to find out how to install this mod, stick around and I'll talk you through it. So first up, you need to visit nexusmods.com. From there, you need to search for Skyrim Special Edition, and then you're looking for Skyrim Together Reborn. For the purpose of this installation, I'll be using the Vortex Mod Manager to download it, and it's about 250 megabytes in size. Once installed, make sure it's enabled, and then head over to Dashboard. From here, you need to click Add Tool, and then choose New. And then all you need to do is locate the Skyrim Together Reborn file. Now the easiest way to do that is if you go back to your mods and go Skyrim to go Reborn, click on the drop down and open in File Manager, it'll give you the location of the mod. From there, copy the address, go back to Dashboard, back to Add New, select your target, paste in the name, click into the folder, and then click on the Skyrim together.exe file. Click open and it will give you the following details. All you need to do is click save and then you'll be able to launch it from your Nexus mod manager. You click on the start button, it should start to run. Once launched, you can click on load game and choose any previous save. I would suggest choosing a save without too many mods on there just to make sure that it works first time. And once the game has loaded up, push the right control button on your keyboard or F2 and it will ring up a menu. From here, you can click connect and choose either a private server or public server. Note that at the time of recording this, the public servers weren't available, so I had to connect to a private server. To connect to a private server, just enter the address followed by the password and then just click connect or you should see a message saying successfully connected. If you click on player list, you can see who's on the actual server and you can actually teleport to players by doing forward slash TP followed by their name. I'm assuming some servers might disable this ability, but don't expect the feature on all public servers. You can play alone, but it is advisable to play in a party just to make sure everything syncs up as it should. To create a party, it's dead simple. Just click F2 or right control on your keyboard again, click on player manager, party menu, and you can either launch a new party or accept an incoming invite. Please remember, this is still in the early stages, so it should only get better as time goes on. So don't be surprised if you get the odd weird glitch, or maybe even the game crashing. However, if you can't get this far and you're still having issues installing, stick around and I'll talk you through some troubleshooting steps you can try to get your game to work. So if when launching you get a message saying fail to load Skyrim address library, it means you need to install an additional mod on top of what you already have. That mod is of course the address library for SKSE plugin. You should be able to find this on Nexus mod, in fact the error message actually links you directly to this mod. If you still get issues after this, the actual official Skyrim Together Discord suggests the following. If you get the address lib error and you still have it installed, make sure you choose Skyrim.exe when installing Reborn. If you made another wrong selection, run Skyrim.together.exe through the command line with the added minus r argument, so dot forward slash Skyrim.together.exe minus slash r. Given the fact that this is still in the early stages, a lot of mods aren't quite compatible just yet. There is a website you can go to to check the compatibility list, which should get updated over time. However, my suggestion is, with the experience I had with the previous Skyrim Together, the more mods on there, the more likely it is to crash. Graphical mods seem to be absolutely fine, but I'll try and keep it to a bare minimum as to what you have loaded. 
I would also strongly suggest to start a new character, just to make sure you don't corrupt any previous game saves. If you encounter an issue where you can't get a server menu to load, even if you push the right control or F2, for instance on this one you can see the arrow just appears on screen, it's a dead simple fix. All you need to do is quit out the game and load it back up again. And by quit out, I mean just go to the main menu. You don't have to go all the way back to the desktop. And once you load it back up again, it should work. Failing that, just try a full restart of the game. But generally speaking, this is a quick, easy fix and shouldn't cause you too many problems. When it comes to hosting servers, you can host your own or you can have a third party server hosting service. There is a very comprehensive guide on the Skyrim Together wiki, so I would suggest going to that first. Once again, I'll link this in the description so you can go away, browse and figure out how you want to actually host your server. If you do run into any other issues, I'd strongly advise maybe just doing a fresh install and make sure you have got 1.6, the latest version of Skyrim Special Edition. I was running Skyrim Anniversary Edition and I've been told that there's no real difference from it apart from a few quest lines and housing. So if you do need any more information, by all means, please, please, please go visit the Skyrim Together Reborn Wiki. It will constantly be updated and have heaps of information on there. And don't forget, there is of course the Skyrim Together Reborn Community Discord. So if you do run into any issues, by all means check it out. The community on there is great and super helpful. And you never know, someone might be encountering the same issue that you have. I'll also be having some troubleshooting steps on my own personal website, which is gorilla-hq.com. But I would suggest going to the Discord first. First of all, a massive shout out to the devs who made this possible. I played hours upon hours playing the previous version of Skyrim together. So to have it actually recoded and redeveloped, it's just a godsend. It's going to be so much fun to play and I can't wait to see how this grows as time progresses. As I said, it is still in its sort of beta version. They didn't have to release it this early, but they have gone ahead and thought, yes, we'll go stress test it and see how it works. So even if you do have a few issues of it, just be patient. Honestly, these guys have worked so hard on it. And if anything, they just deserve a big thank you for putting it together. In regards to my own personal ambitions with this project, I hope to have a dedicated server for me and the Gorilla HQ gang. And hopefully we can do some challenges, get a load of people together and just see what adventures await us. So watch this space. Hopefully some great things are yet to come. With that being said, I've talked enough. I need to go play the game now. And if you have found this video useful, by all means, leave a like. And if you want to see any future content of mine, just hit the subscribe button down below. And if you do have any questions, by all means, feel free to comment. I'll see if I can answer them as best as I can. But as I said, your best source of information is the Skyrim Together Reborn official Discord. That's all from me. Maybe I'll see you somewhere in Tamriel. Bye-bye for now.